Okay, we've got a few days now before the wipe. As you can see, my base was in fact raided. Uh, they got everything, but it worked out in my favor. On Sunday, I'm just gone. That's yesterday. I don't know what day I'm uploading this, but basically, I came on. I had been raided, and I just was watching the football in the background. Sunday, there's loads of football on in England, so I was watching that. That's why I wasn't recording. I just went on a little running mission. I ran around loads of different rad towns. And I managed to get myself more stuff. Like way more stuff than what I lost. In amongst that we actually managed to get ourselves an airdrop as well. So we'll have a look in here. We've got a little bit of charcoal and a little bit of sulfur. A little bit of metal frags. Over here we've got hazmat suit. Quite a lot of gunpowder. Some more sulfur. Road signs. Three semi-automatic bodies. We went into the military tunnel as well. And got some decent stuff you're about to see. P250, some armor, high quality metal, other garbage there. Uh, Thompson, we managed to kill a guy who had a Thompson. We also managed to kill a guy outside our base with a semi-automatic rifle. So we got one of those bad boys as well. We've got a cust uh, SMG body here, targeting computer, six tech trash. So before the servers do wipe on Thursday, it's Monday right now. We've got to use this stuff on a little raid. Eight metal pipes. And then finally, more has sat. We've, uh, we've got an airdrop as well. Like I, I think I've already mentioned that. I'm not entirely sure. And from that, we got one of these quarries. Uh, we didn't actually get the airdrop ourselves, but we killed the naked who managed to get it. It had 100 high quality metal in it as well. So we've got a lot of stuff. Let's go out PvPing. Let's find a base to raid. And let's just see what happened. I've actually found my first ever cave since they've been updated. So let's kind of have a little browse around. I don't know exactly where you can build in these things, but they look pretty cool. It gets pretty dark. And then you get some light at some points. But yeah, they're, they're really awesome. Way more cave-like, which I like. And you can actually get lost in them, which is, which is pretty cool, you know? Hopefully my sense of direction is on point, so I don't get lost. And you can see... The markings of someone's base. Somebody obviously built down here at some point. They had a tool cupboard here, which is starting to decay. And living down here would be pretty cool. I mean, you're very... Whoa! Oh, God. I, I just took quite a bit of damage. But, yeah, you're quite limited to the, the, the size of your base. But you could build a nice little 2x2 two two max, I assume. And how do I get out of here now? Don't say you can get stuck down here. That would be a disaster. I'm assuming you can jump this. Yes, you can. Thank God for that. And I am officially lost, like I thought I probably would be. And again, okay, a little bit of parkour here. Don't know what happens if you fall, whether you're stranded, so I better not fall. And I didn't, luckily. Imagine meeting someone down here, though. That would be spooky. I don't want to run into someone's path. I also would quite like to find the exit. Aha, we have actually managed to find a base down here. Look at this. So you can build bigger than a 2x2. Two two. I guess... Because this is new, a lot of people want to build down here. This base looks pretty good. Looks pretty hard to raid. Maybe I don't know whether it is. It looks like it goes back reasonably far. You can't actually tell. But yeah, building is definitely a possibility down here. Okay, I'm in another new bit. This is taking me ages to get out of. I didn't realise the size of these things. So many different directions you can go in as well. I just got to hope I'm heading upwards rather than inwards. Aha! And back out. My goodness me. Building down there would be scary. You could get lost pretty damn easily. And I actually thought that was the airfield then. The size of those bases. And there's multiple entrances as well. Okay. That's pretty awesome. And we have made our way to the military tunnel. This is where we got the tech trash from last time. So I definitely want to check this out again. I'd love to get a rifle body. With me being pretty geared up as well. I don't really take too much damage. I've got plenty of bandages. Plenty of spare cloth as well if I need to use it. And hopefully nobody's been here in a while so we can grab those beautiful gun boxes. And get some even more tech trash. Or a rifle body would be awesome. Come on. Or a rifle body would be awesome. Oh yes. What we wanted. A rifle body. No time to hesitate though. Let's get out of here. We've got some of these. We'll take them. There we go. Okay. I am tempted. I think I am going to just head back home and make like an AK or something along those lines and just tear people up. We've got plenty of high quality metal to make one. Thanks to that airdrop. Thanks to that. <laughs> thanks to killing that naked who managed to get the airdrop. We really, really don't want to encounter anyone now. This would be the worst possible timing as we've got massive radiation damage. 
I think the gun I'm going to go for is the Bolty. I'm just terrible with the AK, and I don't want to embarrass myself. So I think the Bolty and possibly a scope as well would be very nice. And then if we do encounter any roof campers, we can fire back with our scope on the ground. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to go for. It doesn't cost too much high-quality metal. It's only like 30, and we've got the rifle body. So that is definitely the way we want to go. Let me just check. Probably a bit stupid me checking in the open. One rifle body, two metal springs, five metal pipes, and yeah, we got we got we got that good stuff. Don't worry about that. We've got plenty of that. So get back to base, make one of them. We've got enough for a four times scope as well. I think that's 50 high quality metal. Um, so yeah, gonna get stacked. And just as we say that, we've encountered a player up ahead. He looks solo. Do I want to encounter or do I want to avoid? That is the big question. He might have some friends who are just not here. Hit him once. Okay, I'm going in for the kill. He's desperately trying to med up. I've hit him a good few times. He's zigzagging. Let's run in on him. He's trying to get the high ground, I think. I just hit him through the bush as well. Surely... He's got to be close. Got to be close. Oh, he's got back to base. No way. I hit him so many times. And now he's just going to roof camp me. Let's get out of here. We don't want to risk losing this, losing this rifle body. So annoying. I could have killed him and got so much more gear. But, you know, didn't realize he lived that close. Yeah, there we go. Roof camping. We knew it was coming, didn't we? We knew it was coming. Sounds like he might have come back out of his base. Maybe he wants to challenge me after all. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, of course they want to challenge now. We're pretty much back to base though, so it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. We, I know this base here. It was that tiny base, if you remember early on in the series, that had like that terrible little wall stacking going on. And I managed to camp their ladder hatch and kill them. And that's the base. And look what it's turned into now. And this guy over here is really annoying. I'd love to raid him. He's always in and he's always roof camping. I haven't seen him not on his roof since I've started playing on this server so you know he would I would like him to go as well he's not a friendly neighbor he's a bit too close to my base he can see it from where he is okay we're crafting our stuff now and those guys who are chasing me made it back they know where I live now so I'm slightly worried I'm gonna get raided at some point but nevertheless we've got our four times scope and our bolty on the craft we're gonna get some more meds we're just going to head back out there. It very much sounds like they're trying to build a raid tower into my base. Hopefully they're not successful because I'm not prepared right now. Uh, and hopefully they haven't got anything to raid if they do manage to jump in. I mean, they'd have to get through this ladder hatch, but that's it. If they get through that, they've got everything. So I might need to put some walls up or something. But I don't see how they'd get a, a raid tower. Hopefully not. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Sounds like there's like a hundred people outside my base right now. I've never heard so many footsteps. They said keep moving though, so hopefully they will. Don't mind me, lads. Just the last guy. I'm just taking this wood base out before maybe raid it with the rackets. Taking out the wood base, yeah. You do that. You take out the wood base. Don't worry about this one. This base has got nothing in. Yeah, I have a few incendiary rackets on me. Why does he sound like he's holding his nose as well? Nasally, to say the least. Oh god, oh god. What is going on? There's their raid tower. Oh baby. How do you like them apples? Hey, how do you like that? Yeah, run now, boys. Straight in the head. <laughs> Didn't know where it came from either. That's what I'm talking about. Oh god. Yeah, kill him. He's tried to raid town to my base. Oh no, now I'm going to get raided. Why am I doing this? If I mess with these guys, I'm, I'm toast. Oh god. This always seems to happen. Whenever I want to go on a little rampage, a little PvP run, I always seem to get door camp doors somebody's going to raid me. I wonder if they've gone back to get rockets or something. I'm very worried that they have. I'm pretty sure they've got some. They seem like a big group. Um, so let's just keep our heads down for now. I'm going to go back to my roof. Hope they're not on there. I mean, they could be. I haven't heard any footsteps, though, or jumping across.
Okay, all they did was destroy my stairs. So I've put some more up. Let's have a quick check of their little raid tower. Okay, it's been destroyed. Perfect. No, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Have they left though? Or are they still annoyed that I took a pot shot? Headshotted one of them. How did he not? Oh, I guess he had a metal face mask. Bit of a shame he didn't drop. Are we safe to leave? We've got to make sure. They might be back. So I might hang around. I don't want to go too far. Just in case they do come back to raid me. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting up a little bit of a defense against however many of them there is. So we're going to we're gonna stay around here for a little bit. If they're not back in a few, like, five, ten minutes, I might head out. See if I can find those guys I was shooting at before. Here is one guy. Managed to spot him. I don't know which way he's heading. He looks like he's only got a crossbow. And he's heading... I think it might be the guy who belongs to this base. So I absolutely despise. So I'd love to kill him. Hopefully he heads this way. Love having this four-time scope. Means I can keep a nice little beady eye. And actually, the ray tower hasn't gone. But surely, they can't jump in from there. And there he is, just sitting there. If he heads in this direction, I would love to take a pot shot now. But if I miss, he's going to leave. Okay, now we take the shot. As soon as he stands still. There we go. Boom, he's dead. Waiting for him to stand still. He did. And he is down like a sack of spuds. Let's get out there quickly, loot him up, check his name. Decent amount of stuff, a lot of woods. Okay, we got most of it. Let's head back. Let's see if he comes out of his base or he, he, he might be looking from his roof. If it was him, I'm not too sure if it was. Okay, it doesn't appear those fellas are going to come back, the big group. Don't know how many of them there was. I think about three or four at least. And... I don't know if it was the neighbor I killed over there, but let's head out. Let's head in the direction we were in before, near the military tunnel. Some food here, very muchly appreciated. And this furnace was... Okay, he must be in his garden, if you can call it a garden. I don't know what you'd call it. But that large furnace was pumping out, like, either charcoal or some sort of resource. So he's obviously gone out there to pick it up. See if we can get a little sniping spot on him. Yes, there he is. Two of them. Two of them. Hit one. I don't know why I took the shot. He's safely in his base, but that'll scare him a little bit. Now they're probably going to run to their roof like they always do. So I thought I'd come to the dome and have a little look around. And yeah, I'm turning back around because one, two, three, four. I think there's at least five of them. So let's take one pot shot and let's leave. There we go. <laughs> I just enjoy that too much. I shouldn't be doing it because there's five of them or at least five of them. But, you know, you like to scare them for a little bit, don't you? Nah, I'm just off. Off into the wind, off into the mist, into the rocks, heading away. And they'll never see me again. I think those were the guys outside my base, though. So I want to make sure they definitely don't follow me. I definitely don't know who did that. They can't possibly know who did it. Okay, so we've headed to another rad town. This one, it's only the, one of the small ones with a little bit of parkour bit and a little bit of underground. We didn't really get anything from here apart from a large med kit. And there's been a lot of gunfire in this area. And boom, there's a guy. Okay, there's a guy roof coming here, which I'm slightly worried about. But I've definitely, definitely got to move in on this guy roaming. Looks like he might be farming, but he has got some... Looks like... Uh, Road sign. Road sign armor. Yes, he does. Okay. Okay, there we go. Boom. Too easy with this four-time scope. Way too easy. One shot. Straight to the head. Boom. He's dead. Jobs are good. Got to worry about this roof camp. But yeah, he's looking at us. Oh, and we're stuck in the water. Yeah. Okay. Okay, not ideal. His buddy's dead. And he's hit. Okay, we're going to have to retreat. We got hit pretty heavy then. I just want to make sure his body at least despawns. Can't have these guys roof camping getting away with it. Maybe we'll wait for them to come out. Maybe if they come and try and loot his body. Yeah, that's the play right here. That is the play. I think I can take them up close. They've just got the height advantage right now. I reckon they'll come out with nothing. Oh, wait. He's got more company. Yeah, he's getting tagged. Pretty badly. 
Who by though? Two guys. Two guys over here. Right, okay. This is about to get interesting. Not sure how I fancy my chances anymore. Okay, let's get out of here. They look like they've got pretty good shots on them. Don't really want to mess. One guy, I think I'd stay there. Two, I don't, don't fancy it. We didn't even manage to loot that body, but oh well. I can't see him having anything amazing on him. Okay, there they are. We're going to keep our eyes on them. If they split up, maybe. I think one guy's looting. Okay, we're going to head towards them a little bit. We've got the ranged weapon on them. But I think they've probably got the accuracy on me. <laughs> by the looks of things. I think they've split up. If I could just land one headshot. I'm in with the chance. Okay, let's retreat some more. We need to play this sensibly. Can't get in close combat with them. Because we're definitely dead being the... The one person v3. 1v2, sorry. I'm getting lit up a little bit here. Got to remember we haven't got unlimited ammo as well. So, got to keep the distance. Definitely, definitely keep the distance between us. Oh god, they're closing it as well. They're closing the distance. And it sounds like an AK, which is a very good weapon. Especially if you've got a good accuracy with it. Which I don't. I think this is a bad move. We're going to try and get behind this building. If they get the height advantage on me before that though. It could be me toast. Yep, they're right there. Looking at me. Yep, this is not good. Oh, I made it. I made it. How big is this base? Can we hide in here? Let's try. Oh god, this is scary. Oh, I'm dead. I don't... Who are they firing at now? This is terrible. They know I'm in here. I'm dead. It's over, boys. They're over there. They're... F okay, there's a gunfight. Do they think... Killed him! Killed him! No! I'm dead! No! I was trying to loot! Oh no! Managed to kill the one guy. But that is the end of us. We're going to try and sweet talk him. I'm going to try and say I was helping him, which I was. He's killed me. Didn't have chance. No way! Damn it! We had so much loot then.